What's up, YouTube? So today we're going to be doing a tier list video for 2024, the very beginning of 2024, because things are definitely going to change throughout the year. So um, we're going to be doing a character tier list and a weapon tier list. So I'm going to be starting off with the weapon tier list. So let's just not waste any time. Let's get into it. So I'm going to be starting like from top to bottom here, kind of, or like kind of in between. So I'm going to start with the top tiers, then the low tiers, and like kind of like fill out the middle as I go. So I'm just going to start off by saying I think boots are definitely the best weapon if not like very, very close to the best weapon. Very, very close. You can't, that's like kind of undebatable. Like I, you gotta agree that boots are like definitely top tier right now. So yeah, that's already gonna make a lot of sense there. Okay, so for my next best weapon, I'm thinking it could be guitars. Cause guitars are always strong. Like they're never, they're never like bad and they're always like top tier, especially at lands. But you can also put bow like somewhere in between. I'm not sure like where you would put it. You kind of do something like this. I'll just put like the rest of my top tiers in, in the S tier and just kind of organize them later. So I also think that um, Orb and Scythe are really insane. Um, the order I'm not really too sure on, but Orb and Scythe are definitely some top tiers. I think you could make a case for Spear being at like the very back of S tier. I can, I can see that too. So now we're going to get into like the low tier. I don't really like when people have like the d tier and tier list like i don't think that there's that many tiers in this game so i'm gonna put like um probably like hammer down here with maybe like i don't want to like i want to say guns are bad but like like everything is good right now i think the worst weapon in the game right now is hammer and then you could also make a case for like maybe great sword but like not even by that much like they're still really good compared to everything else canon yeah canon is definitely like it's not the best right now it's not bad though it's just not the best so i'll say that but i do think that canon is better than hammer like that's why i like to play zol over taros because i feel like canon to me is like a better version of hammer this is a 1v1 tier list i would put gauntlets at s tier but like we're talking about ones here i would say that you can put sword up here then you could put axe that doesn't make sense to me i'm thinking somewhere i gotta put gun somewhere I think you can put guns like right here. Is Lance better than guns? That's like a really good question. Or Gauntlet. Gauntlet and Lance are two weapons where like they're very iffy on the meta because it really depends what character you're playing. Because Gauntlet can be like easily a top tier, but it just depends like what what weapon or what character you're playing and like the stats too. I'll say that Gauntlet are better than guns though. That doesn't make sense. And then I can put like, I could put Lance like right here. I don't want to make it look like Hammer, Greysword, and Cannon are like like way worse than everything else because they're, they have like a whole tier of their own but like they're everything here is very close and then i guess the last thing i can do now is just rearrange this top tier i'm thinking probably put scythe above orb i i, I still think that spear is like just the back of uh, s tier though yeah this looks about good so yeah battle boots is the best bow second best guitar is third best scythe orb spear that makes a lot of sense to me sword like, I guess I'll go into why I have Sword so high. It's just because it does everything. Sword has never been bad. Sword is, like, the most consistent weapon in the game. Like, it just do it does its job perfectly. Like, there's never been, like, a significant change on Sword or Balance Patch that has affected Sword to make it, like, not do its job as well. You just rack up damage and get easy kill confirms. It just makes that much sense to me. So, this is my final weapon tier list. So, I guess we can get into the characters now. So, this is, like, the, the meat of the, the video. Here we go. So same thing again, I'm going to start off with like what I think are the best characters, then go into like the worst characters and kind of just like fill in the gap in the middle, because that makes sense to me. So off the rip, I think Red Raptor is like insanely good right now, because one, you have Boots. Boots has like d like Dare, d like Reverse Dare, d like Sarah, d like Reverse Dare, d like Recovery Kill Confirms. The, um, the dodge punishes can kill earlier than Cannon Kill Confirms, so you can like die off of one dodge punch with Boots. And Orb too, like Orb has just been getting consistently buffed, and it kills even easier now. And on um, Raptor, you have that um, sideline the dash G-Sig 50-50. So, Red Raptor is definitely a top tier right now. But um, also 7 right now is pre-patched. So, 7 right now is extremely broken, but they haven't nerfed her yet. So, I'm going to have to put her at top tier just because they haven't even fixed her yet. I also think that, uh, think that Loki is extremely good right now. I was expecting them to nerf Loki badly, but like no one played him and then they just kind of forgot about it. They barely nerfed Loki at all. He's still really good. I think Dusk is definitely a top five character. Just because he has like really crazy orb confirms, like guaranteed combos that kill so early. His sigs are like very weird. Like you can't punish the sigs. The spirit end sig, spirit side sig have like zero recovery frames. But 
he has like so much force. His stat line is like perfect because most orb characters have this stat line where like they do a shit ton of damage for like no reason. So also Tesca, just you know boots. So like, he's like better Mordex to me. Tesca is like Mordex 5.0. There's definitely gonna be more top tiers up here though. Like I think Vrax could also make a case for being up here. So we got seven Raptor, Loki, Dusk, Tesca. Th this isn't ordered yet either. I do think that seven is the best right now though, and that Raptor's probably second best. So I guess we can get into like the lower tier characters. Like I I think that Magyar. Or actually, I think Queen Eye is the worst character right now because Magyar like is low key pretty good. I've been fighting a lot of good Magyar players and I've been struggling. It's it's like even though he has bad neutral and he has hammer and, and great sword, even when he loses neutral a lot, like his defense makes up for it because like he can win more trades than you can. It's very easy for a Magyar to make a good comeback. So I think Queen Eye right now is the worst. I think Magyar like is still like low tier though. So I'll, I'll just throw him down here just for now. And I, I don't think there's really going to be any other characters along with them down here. Um, because I just really can't see there's not really any other problematic characters because Queen Nye's speed is just too low and Magyar has like pretty bad stat line other than his high defense and he has like two of the worst weapons in the game in my opinion. Those are the only two characters with like actual problems, you know? Well it's mainly just Queen Nye who has actual problems. Like her speed kinda makes her almost unusable. Um but she's still good though, like, and you could play any character in this game. Like I said, every character in this game is good. So I guess we can go back to the higher tier characters. I'm thinking that Wu Shang is like really high tier. Definitely really high tier. Definitely top of A. That makes sense to me. I think Lord Vrax can make a case for uh, being up here too. Vrax's sigs are broken. He has D-Light and Light True Combo. Like, I don't know why they never nerfed him. I was expecting a Vrax nerf because every time they buff his um Lance combos, they always take it away like right after. But they didn't nerf him for some reason. So like he just has down light and light true combo. His sigs are just completely just unavoidable. Like, such an insane character. I think Koji's also a top tier. Koji's been a top tier. He'll never not be a top tier. Um, definitely an insane character. I think Mordex will always be good. Um, maybe he, maybe he won't be like top three of A, but he's definitely gonna be an A for sure. He was like the original meta character, you know. I'm thinking, okay, because I know a lot of people like want to talk about Axe right now and like Taros, because I didn't mention Axe that much in the weapon tier list because I don't think that Axe is like that broken. It does a lot of damage. They should definitely like reduce the damage slightly. But the main thing that's annoying like with axe is when you're fighting taros and zol like the high strength characters because the damage on axe scales really weirdly to a point where like when you get hit by a taros axe and a zol axe it does way more damage than it like it would do if you got hit by like an azoth axe so the problem isn't necessarily axe it's just like the damage scaling on axe so because of that like taros and zol i think are way better than like the other axe characters if you're not going to include like like i guess like azoth jala so I, I think i can put like taros somewhere up in a and I think Zol's like not that far behind him because I personally, because this is all like hypothetically, like this isn't off of like placements or anything. I definitely think that Zol has more potential than Taros just because Cannon does as much damage as Hammer and it has like the really crazy combos. So like, I'm not gonna, um, this isn't ordered yet though, but I think they do like fit somewhere in the A tier. I'll put Orion like, like right here. Um, He's in a very good spot right now. He's been in a good spot for a very long time. Even after they nerfed him, after I, I got fourth at BCX, like, he's still really good. His D-Sig, it kills um, way later than it did before, but his um his SIGs, along with, like, his uh, stat line and weapon comp, is just, like, very solid. Like, I don't think Orion will ever be, like, that bad unless I just completely destroy Lance or destroy Spear. I think in, like, the lower tier, we can put Core somewhere in D. But I also don't like to use that many tiers, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think that that many characters are, like, um, I don't think there's like that many differences in so many characters. I think Core is somewhere like in like a tier above Magyar and I. He's definitely like not the best character, you know. He's like, he's like, he's like okay, you know. It's, the main problem with characters like this is that it's like why play Core when you could just play like any other Hammer character, you know? Like why play Core when you could play Thor? Because Thor does Core's job a better because Core, I think Core got his delay ending on Hammer removed and Thor has it, so it's like why even play Core? When he does the same thing that Thor does, but just like slightly worse because of his stat line and like his weapon comp. Because it's like not really him as a character, it's just like other other hammer characters just do it better than him, you know? Moonin, yeah, Moonin. I think Moonin's a top tier for sure. We could put Moonin like right here. Moonin is like the same thing as Koji. It's just like Moonin is extremely good. Like extremely, extremely good. But just no one plays her because she's new. The newer characters don't, like, tend to get played that much just because everyone's, like, already playing their main. They're already used to playing their main. So, Moonin, like, she's up there for sure. Like, it's just she doesn't have representation. But, like, that doesn't really take away from the fact that she's insanely good, though. Suri's always going to be insanely good on land. I don't think she's, like, broken right now, though. But she's definitely, like, 
a really good character. Like, he could put her, like, right here. Like, Asuri is insanely good. Um, I think Ember also belongs somewhere in, like, A tier. Ember's just very good. Like, we're, we're reaching a time right now where defense is starting to matter, like, a lot less. Because people are just so good at this game that, like, her stat line won't even matter. She kills early. She has a Qatar 50-50. She has the both 50-50. I know people always like to throw Isaiah, like, low tier. He's not bad or anything. It's just, like... It's just like the same thing I was saying with Core, just like why play him when you can play anyone else. But Isaiah's definitely good. I think Reno's definitely good. We can put him in C also. Because I can't really go in depth about every character here because we won't like have enough time to do that. Thea. Thea's in a really weird spot because her, of her low attack and low defense. Like the combination of the two definitely makes like a little bit weird. If you're good at Thea, like she's insanely like oppressive though. Um I'll throw her here though. Zarl, um Balloon Boy's been playing a lot of Zarl and like showcasing how good Zarl actually is. I've always thought Zarl was insanely good. But um, now that there's like actual like representation, it's a lot easier to see how good the character really is. And I definitely think it's like top of B for sure. Maybe even bottom of A, but we can get into that later. Back to the, like the low tier, we can just throw Mako here. Just because Mako, like she's just okay, but her side scale on great sword drops a lot. If it didn't drop, she'd be a lot better. Um, She has a Katar true combo. It's just like her weapon comp is like... It's not that good. It's like okay. Well, like one thing you'll notice is that characters like from C to above are just extremely good. Like they're really good. And then everything like below C or like mid C to like E is it's just like they're like decent. They're like okay, but like why? Why, why play Mako when you could just play Jayun or like a Suri, you know? There's like not much incentive to be playing Mako because her her side sig on great sword drops and like that sig is crazy. Like if you could use it properly, like you could kill people super early, but because it dropped, it's just like why even play her? Um Diana. Diana definitely is up here. Diana is always going to be good. Always going to be a really scary and threatening character because of her delay and sig on um, bow. But like, she's always just going to be solid. I think Ragnar is really good too because Ragnar, he can't kill. Like, I've played him for years. He sucks at killing. Um, But like, other than that, I think Ragnar is some of the best neutral in the entire game. For sure. I definitely believe that. Oh yeah, then we got Mirage. So I want to put Mirage top tier. I want to put her like right here. Because I think Mirage is just actually insane. Like, she kills so early. She does her job, like, perfectly. Like, there's not really a single flaw. Her stat line's so good, too. You can play, like, I think, 8 strength Mirage. Like, there's nothing wrong with her at all. She's, like, a perfect character, for sure. Kaya. Yeah, Kaya's really good right now. I don't think Kaya's as good as she was before, though. I'll definitely put her in an 8 tier, though. She's just, like, not as threatening as she was before because of these new spear nerfs. So she can't get Silent Ensig anymore to cover the dodge up. Um, They nerfed her spear D-Sig. So you can actually punish it now. And it's just like they've been buffing a lot more characters and like there's like a lot more competition now. Um Bryn. Bryn's just like a pretty normal character. Like she's just good. Um, so I'll just throw her here. Same thing for Fate. Fate's insanely good, but I think Fate is like she could be better than Bryn. No one plays Fate anymore, though. Like no one really mains Fate. Back to like the lower tiers, we can get into Volkov. So Volkov, he's good, but his low speed and like low strength really messes him up. Like he has almost Queen Eye stat line if Queen Eye was weak. That's the main thing. He has a lot of decks, but the combos that you get on Volkov are the same ones you can get on, like, Jiro. The Nair and Nair combo. But the problem with Volkov is that he has a lot of decks, but the problem is that he's so slow that it actually doesn't really work like it should. Because, if you don't know, on Scythe, you can do jump Nair and a jump Sider. True. On, I think, characters with, like, 7 decks and higher. But it's also, um, requires a lot of speed, too. So, like, the combo you can hit on Jiro just fine, but, like, on Volkov, he's so slow that the Sarah doesn't connect. So, like, I I'm not even sure if he can get it. He might not be able to get it. If, if they took away, like, two deck from him and put it into speed and strength, then he would be good. But because of, like, he has that dex and, like, he doesn't benefit him as much as it should, you know? Roland. So, I think Roland's just here. Like, he's he's not bad. They buffed him recently. I like the new buffs on his, um, on his sword side sick and sword d sick. Definitely good buffs. But he also, like, there's, there's just, like, not much incentive to be playing Roland at all. Like, why play Roland when you could just play Ryan or just, like, Olgrim or something like that? And speaking of Olgrim... Um, I think that Olgrim also belongs in A tier. Olgrim is extremely good, but no one plays him. His stat line is literally insane. Three decks, but the optimal stance is to play away from decks because Lance and Axe don't benefit from decks at all. So it's like you just get this like absolute monster stat line. Like same stat line that they gave to seven, except Olgrim doesn't have like crazy true combos or anything. Um, Ezio, he very slept on, extremely slept on. I think Ezio is insanely good, but no one plays him because... Orb has this problem where every single Orb character they make is insanely good. Like, Petra, stat line is insanely good. Kills super early and, like, crazy sigs. Um, Reno, same thing. Well, Reno's, like, probably, like, the most balanced Orb character, though. But then you have, like, Red Raptor. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have Thor. Thor is kind of mid. He's like, he's okay, though. But, um, Ezio and Sigon Orb is, like, so good. Like, it's enough to put him at A tier for me. Scarlet 
it's kind of like Ogrim, but slightly worse. It's just like her SIGs are, are a little bit too slow. Her hammer end SIG is insanely good, though. But same thing with like a double weapon, heavy weapon comp. It's like Scarlet. I would say she's mainly supposed to be a twos character, but no one plays hammer and lance in general. So like she's very um underrated to be honest, but like she's not like insanely good though. Onyx is extremely good. Um I'm sure you've noticed, but the A tier is gonna be extremely big just because this I feel like there's like so many characters are in, that are in that spot where it's like almost top tier if they got one more buff, you know? Oh Caspian, yeah, Caspian is literally crazy. I'm about to put him super high up here. Caspian is definitely crazy. Um they never nerfed them. After BCX 122, everyone played Caspian in top 8, and they never nerfed Caspian. So, um, that's surprising. But Caspian kills extremely early. Like, his stat line is almost like Petra. You can play 8 turn Caspian, and his SIGs are crazy. Like, the NSIG coverage, like, they, they took his NSIG and gave it to Loki. We can talk about Nash, I guess. Nash is really good. I'll throw him in B tier, though, because he's not, like... I don't think Nash is close to being a top tier, but he's definitely, like, not on the same thing tier as, like, uh, Roland Scarlet. Uh, I'm actually gonna move Reno up here because I don't think that Reno belongs with Roland Scarlet. I do, I do think that Reno is like extremely good, like way better than like that section of characters. I think like this C tier is gonna be for like a lot of like the more like niche, underplayed characters that like no one really knows about. Like I think Sentinel is good, but like he's not like that good, you know. He kind of fits into the spot of like characters that no one plays, but like they're okay. But it's mainly because there's other characters that are better. Like why play Sentinel when you can just play a Suri or Ragnar or like anything else. Same thing for Thatch. Thatch is just like, Thatch is good, but he's not like that good, I don't think. Like, he has Delight Side to so guarantee when they don't have a dodge, though. But like, that doesn't, for me, make him like an A tier character. But he's not bad at all. He's good. It's just that he has like low defense. And like, his SIGs are just okay. He has like two good SIGs. I think his Sword D SIG and Sword Side SIG are his best SIGs. Sword D SIG like hits everywhere. Artemis is extremely good right now. I think, she, <clears throat> I think she fits up here just fine. Maybe not better than Onyx. I should probably move Onyx up. I do think that Onyx's stat line is really good. But Artemis is definitely insanely good. Jiro's a really weird character because I don't like fighting Jiro. He moves so fast and he has the Nera Seratru combo. And his SIGs kill really early. And he has Delight Side SIGs. So he's like that, but like better. Um, It's very hard to fight a Jiro player that's good. I'm definitely going to have to put Jiro like somewhere up here. And I do think that Thea, like I might move up Thea. Because Thea is like kind of crazy. Like I might move Thea up here. Vector's also a pretty weird character. I, I don't think that Vector's like that good. I think he's just okay. So I, I think I'll put him in B tier. Because Vector like he he struggles really hard with killing. For sure. Like he struggles to kill. And his SIGs aren't great. His SIGs on bow are pretty good, but his Lance SIGs like they kind of just do nothing, you know? Like you're not really gonna be using Vector SIGs at all. Um but he has really good stats though. He has high speed, low dex. So he's a good character, but he just like there's better characters umbo and lance i do like the same thing he does Braz is really good too um i can put him like top of here because he kind of is like similar to all these characters where like he's just okay but i don't think that he's like bad at all definitely not worse than roland scarlet sentinel or thatch to me definitely like really good i think ada also belongs somewhere here her um her low defense kind of kills it but like if she had high defense or just like normal defense she'd be insanely good like she'd be like a top tier for sure um she has Delight NSIG, uh, or not true, but she has Delight NSIG as a confirmed combo now. Now they buffed her, the speed on her um, NSIG. Her side SIG and DSIG on Spear are just insane. Her stats are pretty good. It's just like, she doesn't need that much dex. If they took away one of her dex and gave it to defense, then that'd, she'd be like a top tier for sure. Petra. I think Petra's definitely A tier. And definitely high A tier too. I think Petra has been good for a long time. Like, gone very unnoticed. I think Thor belongs somewhere over here. I'll put him above Nash because I think Orb is better um in spear right now i do think that thor is better sigs than nash in my opinion he and nash has some crazy sigs though but like he only has like one crazy sig well thor has like a lot i think that thor's orb and sig is insane his orb d sig is really good for edge guarding his orb side sig covers so much space his orb or his hammer d sig extremely good anti-air for hammer same for the n sig combos into um from d light and it's a good anti-air covers that anti-hammer angle um so yeah i think you can put bolivar like probably somewhere over here Bolivar is not bad, but it's just like also like the same thing. Like, why play Bolivar when there's so many other characters you can be playing? Cassidy is really good. They they changed her D sig. I don't think Cassidy's bad. It's just that no one plays her. Her stats are very iffy though. Um, I'll put Cassidy here. Actually, I can put Cassidy like somewhere here. Like, I, I want to put Ada higher. It's just that like she she's just like she's good, but it's like that's about it. Like, there's not anything that's like extremely broken about her. I could put her in B tier though. I do see her being in B tier a lot better. Because I've been playing Ada a lot recently. And 
definitely like i definitely realized she's like a lot better than i thought she was i think she can go like somewhere right here it is pretty good hattori hattori is easily like high b or like low a she's kind of like similar to koji where she's just always been extremely good Rayman, same thing um the gauntlet nerf kind of like he's he's really good in twos but in ones like he struggles to kill a lot because he doesn't really have like any usable sigs in ones that are like good punish tools other than like uncharged gauntlet side but he's not bad or anything lucian they did lucian pretty badly when they nerfed guns but he's back now they, they nerfed his guitar d6 so he's not as good as he was before during his like peak of like early 2023 when uh, luna was playing him and like knees was playing him phase was on him but he's definitely back now like for sure azoth is really good but like he's not they, they buffed him recently. Um, They gave him D-Light and Sig confirmed um, as a dodge punish. But that doesn't really put him, like, as an extremely good character. I think he's, like, definitely, like, pretty high up in B tier. Like, I think that he's better than Vector, for sure. It's, he's just, like, underplayed. That's the main thing. Um, Lin Fei. I think Lin Fei's extremely good. Like, very underrated. She has insane combos. Maybe not as much anymore because they uh, they did, like, take away, like, those insane dex combos on the Katars. But Lin Fei, like, her Sig kit is insane. Um, Cross. And one's Cross is good. He's just like a little bit slow. So I'll put cross like right here. He's like very underplayed in ones. No one really plays cross in ones just because like he can kill really early, but just like I also like have not fought a really good cross player in like a very long time. So I really would not know. I'm very unfamiliar with that character. We have only a couple of characters left. So Jala is, I definitely think she's like low A. Definitely not B because Jala has great, like her D light Instagram sword carries her so much. It kills that orange. Val is a pretty normal character to me. She like, she does her job normally. I don't think she's like a top tier, but she just she does her job pretty well. Nyx, same thing. I think Nyx is like also like a B tier character. She's strong, but she's not like extremely broken or anything. I think Yumiko is pretty good, but I'll still put her in B tier, somewhere in B tier. Um, probably like right here. I think Yumiko is really good because Yumiko is like a gimmick character where like she excels at like one thing, but if you know how to get around that one thing really well, then it's she just becomes like almost like not useless, but like her job is like very unclear at that point. Like if you can get past her D sigs and like she just kind of becomes like a sigless character where like you just play her like as if you have no sigs. Sidra, I think Sidra's really good. Very underplayed, but she's always been really good. Extremely good actually. Jayon, me personally, I think that greatsword is good, but I'm like really good against it. That's the thing. So like I'm, I'm not going to be that prone to be uh, to believe that like Jay Yun's like a extreme top tier, but he's definitely good. I think he's like higher up B tier. Like Jay Yun's definitely pretty good. And last character we have Arcadia. I was trying to wait on Arcadia just because I'm not really sure where to put her. Her sigs are insane. She has probably some of the best sigs for a spear character just in general. Um, I don't know like how exactly to think about Greatsword, but we can also put her like somewhere in like high B tier, or we could put her in like low A because Sandstorm did do really good with Arcadia. And I don't like to bring up placements at all, but like he made her work like super well. She's definitely extremely good. I just don't know if where, I, where I'd put her. If I put her in H or like where exactly. I think I could put her like bottom of A, I guess. That this kind of does make sense a little bit. Um So our S tier is completed. We have seven Red Raptor, Loki, Dusk, um, Tesca, Vrax, and Mirage. I think that's a pretty good top tier um list. And then obviously has the worst characters, you know, just as per usual, you got Queen Eye and Magyar. And then, you know, you got like Mako, all like the iffy kind of characters, like Mako, Isaiah, Kor, Volkov. And then you just kind of got like the, the low middle tiers and then mid tier, high mid tier, and then S tier. So this makes sense to me, like, um, but yeah, that kind of concludes my tier list. Let me know what you guys uh, think about it um, in the comments below and give me some ideas for my next videos. And yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching and have a good one. Yeah. Peace.